Today I'm at the world's biggest A380 facility. Up to 11 A380 can be in-house maintained here at the Emirates Engineering. And I have engineer Omar with me today. He's gonna give me a behind the scenes tour and showing us a lot of things we've never seen before. I bet you haven't seen an A380 with all the interior stripped out, just the floor. That's exactly here what I'm seeing today. Oh, wow. This is definitely different. The whole carpet panel doors has been removed. And you can see the, the 380 carpet is actually somewhere situated between the main and the upper deck. And this is uh, the maintenance of uh, the 3C check which we get all those items uh, get removed for either for uh, overall, uh, maintenance, inspections, repairs, uh, modifications, and items uh, replacement. And then you can see this is the electronics bay, EE bay, and you can see all this wiring directly under the floor of the carpet. And uh, I don't know how many miles of cable there is, there's huge here. Imagine 400 seats used to fit here on this floor here and now they all been taken stripped off during this heavy maintenance, right? So Sam, as you see over here, we talked about the 3C. All of those floor bolts were removed just for the inspection and uh, rectifying the problem. And now we are installing them back. You can see the guys, they are installing the floor bolts back in position. Why are you doing this? The first reason of uh, that is to inspect the the floor panel itself for uh, damages, uh, dents or delamination. Uh, the other reason is to inspect the structure of the aircraft and the, uh, the seat tracks the track, as well. The track? Yeah, seat tracks. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Those are the seat tracks where, where the seats fits in. Yeah, I see the guys are manually screwing one by one. Correct. This must be a massive job, taking all the seats out, interior out, then open every floorboard to check and then bring everything back. How long this will take? It is. This will take maybe uh, more than a month just to get it all removed and uh, to install it back. In the middle, there is a, like a pole here. What exactly. on earth is this? Well, this is a lift just to tr get this the This is a lift? It is a lift. Elevator? A, a lift just to transport items ah. from the main deck to the upper deck. Yeah, I can actually see they go up to uh, upper deck. Yeah, right. Uh, so this is in the galley, they can move things up and down. Exactly. Actually didn't even know A380 has an elevator inside <laughs> in between the galleys. <laughs> Guys, if you've flown the Emirates A380, you probably remember there's a staircase in the rear goes up to the upper deck. And after all the panels, all the lavatory has been stripped off, this is what the bare staircase looks like. Just like your home staircase, right? They actually earlier they stripped off all these beans. Now they're reinstalling back to one by one. Correct. Oh, I see. I see. So the guys are making the final check over over here now. Uh, if any of these, just to get, get it installed back. So Sam, let's go have a look into upper deck. Yeah, sure. Let's go upper deck. A lot of exercise in the hangar going up and down. This is incredible, incredible how huge this airplane here is. Omar just told me this is quite an interesting area because at the first class cabin upper deck you remember there's two shower and spa and now it's completely been removed. I want to check out what's actually left over there. You remember you're talking about the uh, avionics compartment? This is the upper avionics compartment. Oh, this is, oh, we didn't know that. Yeah, over here we're having the upper avionics compartment which is after the uh, shower, which is nobody can see unless we get those uh, shower uh, removed. So 
Would you like a glass of mojito? This is where normally the onboard lounge they serve you a drink on the upper deck on the Emirates 380. Now everything's being removed. You probably don't recognize. Welcome back to the onboard lounge. And here's your mojito. So Sam, I don't think that you realize uh, what is this. This is actually the platform of the first class seats. And the seats should be installed over here. We get it uh, now. Those platforms have been uh, taken out of the aircraft uh, to do the uh, inspection. Uh, overall repairs over here. And the seats have been sent to the shop for the overall as well. This is really quite unbelievable. You know, you have to climb up to this platform here to reach the horizontal stabilizer of the 380. Because usually it's so tall. And now we're touching it. It's unbelievable. We're going on the top of the vertical fin right now. On the view over there, you'll see the whole aircraft as you see it from the seats on cabin while you're flying. We're going slowly, step by step. This is serious exercise. It's incredible, it can almost touch the tail 380, right? Incredible feeling, having the whole A380 under your feet. This is the tail camera, where you can see it on ice, on your seat. It will show you the full view of the aircraft. I can see number four engine is removed. Not often you see uh, A380 without an engine here. That's right. Uh, well, the engine got removed uh, to do uh, that. The overall engine overall got due and we get it uh, shopped to the engine shop to do the full overall. And in replacement of this, we're getting a new serviceable engine, getting uh, it fixed over here. This is the GP7200, right? Correct. The engine alliance. Correct. Yeah. Any idea what that box is? The gray box? The gray the box. Here? No idea, just a box. That's the brain of the engine. Oh, that's, that's the, brain. the controller, full controller of the engine. So that's the computer of the engine? Yes. Wow. This is the air conditioning unit. This is the old one, which have been removed, and we sold the new one over there, which you saw earlier. Right, this is huge. It is this a huge. This is not quite like the home air conditioning box. Of course, a huge <laughs> how unit. Many, how many air conditioning system in the A380 you have? We're having two of those, two units. Two on units, each, generally all the air conditioning? Yes. Wow, amazing. So over here behind me, we are having the 380, which is returning back to service. Uh, over here, we'll be doing the gear swing. Gear swing is getting the gear uh, retracted and extended back again. Over here, the engineer will be communicating with the other engineer on cockpit to give him the command to start with this uh, operation. That's incredible, like, I haven't seen this before, a 380 without gear, it looks incredible. And now, there are three jacks, two jacks on each side, and one jack in the front. They're supporting the 580 ton of A380's weight. Imagine you're losing one pin, it's gonna be a disaster. But we're gonna make sure this doesn't happen. Yeah, coming down. You would be seeing the uh, wing gears coming first. This, oh yeah. The doors open first, all uh -huh. doors, okay. and then the wing gears coming okay. out. Uh, and hold then under the, the wing first, okay, yes, the gear. The, the wing gears, and then the uh, body gears. Okay, that's eight, eight tires. Yes. And then there's two more here. Yeah. Those are wow. six, six. That's just amazing, it feels like this is the best playground, isn't it? Tell me what other system check you're doing apart from the gear swing? A part of the gear swing, uh, we need to make sure that the engines are uh, serviced and checked. Uh, la uh, landing gear as well, lubricated and checked. Uh, flight controls and internal cabin systems as well should be uh, inspected and checked. So 
We work over here 24-7 for almost 1,500 man hours to get each and every 380 back to stock. Oh, this is crazy. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. I don't think we need explanations, right? All the airplanes sit. This is where every Aki want to come here. Yeah, we have uh, business class, the first class and the economy seats over here. This All is the economy or first cl business this class? This is a business class seat. This is actually business class. Yeah. I can't recognize it, honestly. Like, you remove the uh, cushions, cushions and covers. the console. It looks like an economy class, but there you go. It's a business class seat. Switches underneath. These are secrets. It's like switches to play with. Oh. These are manual. Manual switch. To yeah, manual flat switch. In yeah. the business class. Yes. Oh, it's, it's heavy. You know what I'm trying to do. I try to steal one to go home now. It's really heavy here. Oh. So I did a little detective work and discovering things here. These seats actually came from the airplane we saw earlier while doing the heavy seat check when they strip off all the seats with just the flooring. And each seat has a tag. They were originally, this one was 23 Echo. This one was 19 Bravo. So because the seats is slightly different, I believe, in I.O. seats, in window seat and the center pair seat. Uh, business class shells. We're going to send it to paint shop so that it gets a fresh new paint. And then once it comes back, we are again going to assemble it and make it look like a brand new seat. That's brand part of the heavy seat chair. Heavy seat chair. Wow. Now it looks more like business class, right? You recognize the shell here. And this is where the seats come into. I'm actually quite amazed. This is actually the first class suite. Yeah, no one would have believed it. This is the shell behind. And today I've really seen a lot. We completely stripped down the seat. We check each and every details, the structures, the integrity, the quality. You can see down here, these are the actuators that is actually moving the seat to bed mode and the upright. So all this undergo series of tests. So how long does it take to go through all the 14 seats in first class cabin? It takes uh, almost 14 days to complete uh, from zero to 100%. It feels like a factory here, it really is a factory. It's incredible, it feels so different to the end product where customers are sitting on, right? This is just a shell. It takes a lot of good care, maintenance, you know, cleaning, and also decoration to make the seats look presentable and comfortable. So Sam, this is the sidewall panel. This one is a surprise for you. We just want to show you how a laminate is bonded onto the sidewall panel. Oh, I see. It's actually, this is the wallpaper. Yeah. And then it goes into the side wall panel. The composite panel. The composite panel, right. So this machine helps us to bond this lamination onto this composite panel by heating the heat activated laminate. Oh, so when it gets heated, this thing will stick onto the side wall yes, panel. Yes, exactly. Hey, interesting, never thought about even uh, you know, we, we fly the plane, we thought that was just came like that and we didn't know there were process and layers and then material behind. So once uh, the lamination comes out of the machine, this is where we do the build-up of the sidewall panels and we attach the brackets. These are just trying to hold the bonding side retainers and all. And this one you probably have seen in my first class video earlier. This was the wall on the first class shower and spa. So this is only on the Emirates A380, the shower and spa. It's also a huge bathroom. So Sam, let's go have a look inside, see what's happening in return of service checks during the A380. So I just came inside the 380 and uh, see the guys at work here changing cushion covers. So these are new cushion covers you're changing? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, new sir. ones, okay. Yeah. That's a pretty intensive job because imagine 400 seats in the economy, 
changing one by one. There's a lot of lots of work. Just imagine how many pieces things in the cabin need to decorate and change. Massive amount of work here. So Sam, not only the bins that we check and clean, also we have to check on the IFE system. We check the monitors, we check the communication, we check the, 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 the condition of the monitors as well. The guys are preparing the uh, carpets uh, in uh, different uh, stations and preparing for the removal of the old ones and replacing it by the uh, new uh, carpets. You have to test every single seat. Yeah, we have to check the operation, check off each and every business class seat. That's pretty cool. I don't mind. I can help you. I can change. I can check. I can be a seat checker. I'd love to be inside the airplane. Hi, Sam. Good afternoon. Welcome to our paint hangar. Wow, it's actually my first time in a paint hanger. Okay. I've seen a lot of video of yeah. painting, but I've never been inside a paint hanger. It's yeah. quite it's special it's here. We all hooked up here. I guess you know where we're heading. We're gonna see from the top on this beautiful 777. Yeah. like that white and gold decal. It's actually a sticker, right? It's a sticker on top. It is. 50th UAE anniversary this year. How long did it take to apply the sticker? This took us two days. Two days. Two days. And then you just have this kind of crane and lift to go near, and you have to remove the old one. Uh, actually, this is on top of the old painted livery. Oh, it's on top, it's okay. On top. Yeah. But my question is normally in the paint hanger, how long it takes to paint a triple seven or A380? So we do a triple seven in 11 days. Uh, 11 days. We, we strip it to the bare metal and paint it, including the livery in 11 days. What's the process like? You have to strip off the old paint? Yes, we have to strip it to the metal and then start applying all the primers and the top coats and the clear coats and the colors. And then we do all the detailed uh, sanding and masking. And then we start applying the new paint on. It's always a great feeling to see new airplane with special colors as a plane spotter. Hopefully you guys can catch it around in the world because Amherst 777 literally fly to everywhere. How many liters of paint for a 777 like this? For a 777 we would uh, use up to about 600 liters of paint. Yeah. 600 liters? Yeah. What about A380? A380 would be almost twice as much. Twice as much? Yep. And you know, a lot of airlines, they paint the plane just white, which I hate as a plane spotter. Yeah. Some airlines paint it all black. Right. Is this cost the same, painting white, painting black? Material-wise, it'll cost the same. Uh, uh -huh. There's no difference there. No difference no if difference you paint it only when you do a lot of, lots of different color. Exactly. That's going to add a cost. Add the cost, yeah. I see. Add a, Interesting to know. What a day, it's amazing. I've seen so many things that I normally would not see. Thank you so much, Omar. But more so, I also seen a lot of hardworking engineers and technicians here, working 24 seven in ship to make sure the airplane are safe to fly for the passenger's comfort. I wanna thank them because these are the unsung heroes normally would never came on the camera, but they're doing great work in aviation. Thank you so much.